Assalamualaikum Before I proceed to my speech Let's watch the video first That relate to my topic Assalamualaikum and good morning. Before we get start, I want to ask you guys few questions. Any of you guys had learned other language or foreign language? How many of you guys as uh, is bilingual or multilingual? Today I want to tell you guys about why is it important to learn multiple language. So right now, let's have a let's have a quick highlight on what I'm going to talk today. First is I will define the meaning of bilingual and multilingual. And second is problem with people who is monolingual and less and lastly the benefits of learning multiple languages <clears throat> okay first of all let me begin with my first point which is the definition of bilingual and multilingual according to oxford dictionary the meaning of bilingual is a person fluent in two languages how does someone become bilingual there are many ways someone can become bilingual uh, many people who are bilingual have acquired two languages from their early childhood they may have parents who spoke two different languages with them or they may have lived in a community where the language spoken outside <coughs> however the meaning of bilingual uh, multilingual sorry is a person that able to use more than two languages for communication besides that the most spoken language in malaysia is malay as a official language because it has more than 20 million users in other countries such as uh, indonesia and philippines <coughs> Uh, other than that, uh, Mandarin is the most uh, widely spoken uh, form to Chinese language in Malaysia. This language uh, is a lingua franca among the Malaysian Chinese and widely used in Chinese schools and business. Next, let me go to my second point which is problem with people who is monolingual. As you know, monolingual is able to use only one language. People have their own reason why they being monolingual. First is, they have no time to learn a uh, language. This presumption is that you can only succeed in language learning if you do it in full time. This is also false and I have come across an incredible number of people who have succeeded in, in, learning, in learning a language while working a full time job as well as having other res responsibilities. In fact, it is a way less typical to find a successful language learner who, has, who was able to devote his entire day to learning the language and second uh, they have got no language gene this doesn't mean anything except that you don't do well in learning language in and in an academic setting or more like or more likely you were missing the most important ingredient at the time and lastly the benefits of learning multiple language first it improves competitiveness in the job market. Speaking a second language can provide more job opportunities depending on which language you speak. Communication in the workplace is important and more companies, especially those with international office, are considering bilingualism a high priority. Being able to communicate with foreign clients or customers is considered a big advantage too. Second is make travel easier and more enjoyable. If you are aspire to be a globetrotter, learning a language is a must. Traveling is way more fun and easier when there is an, a language barrier. You can have a more immersive and authentic experience. You'll be able to talk directly with the locals and make 
more friends along the way. Knowing what food to order without pointing at pictures and asking for directions when you get lost is also a bonus. So this is all my three main points of my speech. Now we all know the reason why we should learn other language, right? Friends meet once said that one language sets you in a corridor for life, but two languages open every door along the way. What are you guys waiting for? Go and learn some language.